prayer that God will touch him and heal him and bring him through. And all of the saints everywhere. I know God is able. I know God is able. Just reach out across these rooms to somebody. Lay your hands on their shoulder. And pray for them right now. Pray for them right now. Pray for them right now. Pray for him right now. I don't hear y'all praying for him. Pray for him right now. It's Gilly Winston Thompson. My, my, my. Tragedy. All the other elders, saints, losing their relatives. All over the world. I must tell Jesus. All of my trials, I cannot bear. It's for my senior saints today, all us old folk. But I alone in my distress, He kindly will help. Elder Bridges, my senior elder in San Antonio. Jesus can have me. I went to see him. Got a trach in his throat. Can't talk. Didn't know I was there. Jesus. My nurse, Sister Brenda White's 26 year old niece, slipping away at the point of death. Went in that hospital praying for her, that child. I must tell Jesus. I must tell these I cannot bear all of these but I'm alone say it with me say it with me I must tell these I must tell these Sometimes you feel like you can't make it. Sometimes you feel like all hope is gone. Sometimes you have to turn your face to the wall and just say, I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. Oh, I just cannot bear all these burdens all alone. Anybody here got something you want to tell it? I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. Tell Jesus. Woo! Jesus. He will help me. There's somebody here to help me. Sister Starlin's son in the what hospital? Hospital in Edison Hospital. Been there for two weeks. Very critical. I must tell Jesus. You got a phone request you want to tell him today? I must tell Jesus. I just came back. Oh. So now you can tell him. Better. Oh. You got to let it out, son. I had some saints that believed it. Jesus! In the midnight hour, Jesus! When you're on your way to the surgery ward, Jesus! Jesus can help you! Oh! Jesus, I've been praying for you. You've been in my spirit all while I've been gone. Hello. 
kill somebody, it's gonna be alright. Incorporated our pastor along with our family. 
fabulous leading lady, Sister Mary P. Ellis, and the entire APC congregation cordially invite you to worship the Lord with us here at the park and experience the move of God. We begin service promptly at 8 a.m. on Sundays for our early morning revival. 11 a.m. is our holy convocation hour, and 4.30 is our evening worship service. Now get over here. Make your way to the place where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Jesus. Therefore I am free from the curse of the law, from sin, from sickness, from poverty, from doubt, from worry. And I can, I know that I can, do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. For greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. The anthem of the morning, if you would kindly remain standing everywhere. The Lord is good to this church. The Lord is kind. You got a right to meet us here during this hour of broadcast this evening. Pastor Durham from Arlington. Pictures. Preacher. It's a personal will be with us. It's a good of those. The covenant of will be with us. We're blessed by God. The of the Lord. Pictures of the gospel. Bless Lord. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Lord. The name of the Lord was strong power. The lights are running to the last day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what the world clouds look like. God is still our refuge. God is still our strength. God is still a very present help in the time of trouble. God is still on the throne. With Pastor Simon Gordon, Bishop Simon Gordon, Tridstone, Full Gospel Baptist Church. I'm preaching there, right down the street. 1415, West the 104th Street. I want you to meet me there with your man. Yes, sir.
us and the entire APC family, we would like to extend a special invitation to you to join us here at the park to be a part of these anointed services. For more information on our church services dates or times, please call the church office at area code 773-881-6900. Again, that's 773-881-6900 or to request a tape of today's message, please call our church office at area code 773-881-6911. Again, that's 773-881-6911. For more information, you may also view our website at www.apcmorganpark.com. By way of very special announcement, join Bishop E and the Saints at the park as we go to Tristone Full Gospel Baptist Church on Tuesday, March the 18th, Bishop Simon Gordon is the pastor. That's 1415 West 104th Street. And by way of very special, special announcement, the Apostolic Pentecostal Church of Morgan Park presents a commemorative service honoring the life and legacy of the great and late Bishop David L. Ellis Sr. He was the pastor of Greater Grace Temple in Detroit, Michigan on Wednesday, March the 19th, 2003 at 7 o'clock p.m. Our special guest speaker will be Dr. Charles G. Adams. He's a pastor of Heart for Memorial Baptist Church of Detroit, Michigan. We will have praises. We will have singing, some of his favorite hymns, and the saints of God will be here in full, for, full force. You do not want to miss this event. And as this, this choir prepares to sing songs of praise, Put your hands together and receive once again this dynamic choir. The next speaking voice you will hear will be that of the Joshua of our generation, the youthful and dynamic Bishop William Anthony Ellis. Put your hands together and receive the choir. Your announcer for this morning has been Sister Marcietta D. Deloney.
It's all about sticking to it. They're playing a date all about sticking to it. Everywhere. Radio Land. This is this will be because I've been set free. We're playing my own bishop, Dr. Arthur M. Bush. Playing for suffering Bishop Bell and family. Passing of his sister, Sister Denise Bell. Did you got a Winston Thompson? Passing, tragic passing of his mother in Jamaica. Brother Jane Randall, passing of his mother, Sister Marilyn Libby. Passing of her uncle and all the family list. All of our sick and shedding everywhere. All of our sick and shedding everywhere. We're praying for you. God will bless you. That God will strengthen you. God will heal your body. We're praying and believing God for your health, healing, and happiness. We're believing God for all of you. Wherever you're riding on your automobiles, visit the confinement, the nation home, penal institutions. God is right there. We believe in God for you. Believe in God for all of the 16 families that were served by the Mission Sun School Hall on yesterday. All of the families. All of the 16 families that were served by the Lincoln Sons Field Home on yesterday and others, we're praying for you that God will bless. Remember the time of your bereavement, time of your sorrow. Remember our co-sponsors, the Lincoln Sons Field Home, 7838 South Cottage Grove, Brother Spencer Lee, doing such a fine job servicing all of our families here, there, and everywhere. Elder Van will lead us in prayer at this time. Father, we thank you, God, for your mercy to us and your loving kindness. We thank you for affording unto us this opportunity to be before your presence today. And God, we give you glory and honor for what you're getting ready to do in this house. God, we entrust everything in your hands. God, we ask that you break through here like a mighty warrior in the name of Jesus. Oh God, set at liberty them that are bruised. Set the captive free in the name of Jesus. God, we entrust everything. Oh God, you told us to cast all our care upon you. Everything that we can think of that is a concern, we lay it at your feet. Everything that we can think of, oh God, that would afflict and concern, we lay it at your feet. Now, God, we ask that you move upon this place, sit upon every occupied seat, touch every individual in the name of Jesus. We ask that you save somebody. Oh God, bring back the backslider in the name of Jesus. Strengthen the feeble need, encourage the heart of those who are downtrodden and we'll give your name the praise the glory and the honor in Jesus name amen
through us all and is in us all and is in him we live we move thank God we have our being somebody tell me what is God's name what is God's name clap your hands and shout Jesus yeah yeah this is your one Lord one faith one baptism anointed church of the air your glorious church of the air bishop e because i have been set free and so have we is the lord blessing anybody right now come on over here where the table is fed and the feast of the lord is going on my sainted brother the late great bishop david lee ellis going on now seven years this year to glory stood in this pulpit three or uh, seven years ago on the third Sunday in the month of March telling us down through the years the Lord's been good to him told us that my mind was made up and I'm on my way up going all the way to meet the king told you trouble was in his way had to cry sometime laid awake at night but that's all right because Jesus will fix it and Jesus fixed it for him and sent him to a place that's prepared for the saints. Well, we're going to have a service of, of memory here on Wednesday night. Wednesday night, March the 19th, the day the Lord took him away from us. We're going to stop all Chicago. So the Vernon Oliver Price, one of his great singers, will be our guest solo. As our mass choir will be here in full bloom. And his friend, Pastor Dr. Charles Adams, from the heart from the all, Baptist Church in Detroit. Dr. Adams is somebody's preacher. Some of y'all have heard him before, but I want all of Chicago to hear my friend, Dr. Charles G. Adams, the pastor of Hartford Memorial Baptist Church in Detroit. That's Wednesday night. Many of our friends have called already, say they intend to be here. Service time, worship time is 7.30 p.m. sharp on this Wednesday night. We will say to God, thank you for allowing one of the greatest preachers besides my father to pass through this way and bless us, a friend to Morgan Park Church. Is that right, somebody? Oh yeah, Bishop Ellis stepped in and helped rescue the church in a time of need. And we're stopping to say to God, thank you. Thank you, God, for a great preacher. Thank you, Dr. Starling, for the beautiful program. Beautiful program. I know you're about to pass them out today if you have them. Beautiful programs here. And uh, we don't want our fathers and great men and women of God to just pass and we don't remember where they brought us from. Huh? No, 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 no. I'm preaching some of them messages. Ain't, ain't nothing new. I mean, these were preachers. These were giants that we ought to remember where they uh, brought us from. And I want you to be here on Wednesday night. Tuesday night, follow me to uh, Tridstone Baptist Church, full gospel Baptist church. Never been to that church to preach. Right down the street, 1415 West 104th Street. Bishop Simon Gordon is the pastor. His anniversary, I'll be preaching there on Tuesday night. And, 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 and tonight, 9 o'clock. Somebody say, 9 o'clock. Oh, 9 o'clock tonight. <laughs> if you don't get there, to be packed anyway. But I've been asked by my son, Pastor Jenkins, to come and preach the broadcast tonight at Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, I've been going all month, all year. And uh, I wouldn't do it for, for anybody but my son, Pastor Jenkins and Reverend Clay Evans. And uh, I said, why did you call me, preacher? He said, the Lord told me to call you. You had a message for the ship tonight. So ship, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I think some of the park is coming in tonight, ship. I didn't hear you say nothing. I think the park is. I didn't hear you preachers. All these preachers, I didn't hear y'all say nothing. Every one of y'all ought to be with me. Nine o'clock tonight, I might take you to eat afterwards. Uh, yeah, I'm not bothering the choir because they got a big choir. But I'd like to see you. Then if you're not, fellowship is my church. They receive me just as well as you all. I'm not kidding either. That church has a lot of respect. Everybody else, every preacher has to find a parking space. I never have to find a parking space. Don't care how crowded it is. Is that right? Some of y'all been with me? Don't care how many cars around there. They keep my space right reserved all the time. Right in front of that church on the sidewalk. Isn't that wonderful? That kind of respect right there. They don't, nobody else parked there. They let that be known. That's my space. And I appreciate it. People don't have to be nice to you. But it's nice just to be nice. Smile at somebody and tell them it's nice just to be nice. Nice just to be nice. Yeah, yeah. This is the week the Lord called my brother in. And uh, always remember all those songs and good things. He was a worshiper. Late Bishop David Ellis was a worshiper. He led his own worship every Sunday. Every Sunday his own worship service. 
he led that service and we're going to be here telling God thank you some of the family will be in some of the family will be up we'll be telling God thank you for his life slipped away from us we didn't expect him when he was here but he prayed for me I'm the last person he prayed for and I think he left some of that preaching anointing sing your elder right in this church many of you he befriended down to the years many of you in his home and he fed you and clothed you and took care of you took Aunt Dorothy and them came in the house uh, late one night unannounced came in her and Aunt Drew had the Kentucky Fried Chicken and he took the chicken and threw it out and said we going to dinner I'm getting up out the bed didn't he do it Aunt Dorothy we going out that's the kind of person you don't have many folk be nice to you now they say the hotel is down the street uh, I'm in the bed come back next week but thank God for great leadership and I am a lot that I am because after my father passed away at 11 years old, my brother David picked me up and instilled Christian values and the ministry into my spirit. And if he was here, he'd tell you down through the years. God's been. Can I get a witness to say down? Everybody say down. Like, well, we brothers. Yeah, the beat goes on because our people leave us. They leave their anointing with us. In the 10th chapter of the Gospel of John, for today, God bless you, Pastor Branch, from Little Rock, Arkansas. Didn't she preach the 8 o'clock service, somebody? Yesterday, and my preacher from Arlington, Texas, one of my pastors, Elder Durham, will be preaching this evening at 4.30, along with Bishop Montemanor, from Africa and Bishop Gregory Wells, we just gonna have church today. After all, it's the Lord's day. Is that right, somebody? Yeah. Glad for all of you that have filled this house practically today on this third Sunday in the month of March. You're always welcome here at the park. Daily I shall turn the chapter of St. John says I just want to see if anybody woke on that. It's getting in that season. Which thing? We're going to Calvary before the money's out. Endless, 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 endless. Any of my Grand Rapids Saints here? Wave at me. My Grand Rapids people made it yet. 
Brother Hunt, wherever you are, we're praying for you. Miss you. Miss you. And Reverend Evan might come out tonight and say, Lord, I love you. With all, all my heart. Lord, I love you. See, the way we're praying for a singing pastor, she'll say, she's not going to sing this much, though. All my heart. We love him everywhere. I told Danny last night I got a little praise tune. I'm all right. He's going to help me. He's going to help me put it together. They just said, let not your heart be troubled. We got a lot of military men standing on alert. My son over there, Brother brother uh, Peterson, standing on alert, getting ready to leave, pack up, leave his beautiful wife and others that are listening on alert. But let not your heart be troubled. I couldn't put it together last night and, and Danny's quoting so he didn't have time to wait for me to put it together. So I had to scrapple, scrapple with my music and I couldn't get into my spirit uh, get together but they're going to help me put it together because I hear these songs, I hear them, you know, and sometimes God give us numbers. You know, reach over and tell somebody, let not your heart be troubled. Oh, let not your heart be troubled. Oh, let not your heart be troubled. Be troubled. Let's learn it. Let's worship all in the back now. Oh, let not your heart be troubled. Y'all better keep it. I lose it. Let not, let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. In the night, in the A lot of people are troubled now. Trouble. War clouds are hanging low. Jobs are threatened. Economy is down. But I hear the Lord saying, Let not your heart be troubled. Oh, let not. I can't help it. I just have to do what the Holy Ghost said. Your heart. I want y'all to try to remember that because songs are born out of this church. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to lose what God is saying. All that time when I went to bed, I could hear the Lord saying, Let not your heart be troubled. Read all this bad news. Bible say men heart would fail them for fear. Things coming on the world. Thank you, musicians. Oh, shut up, Ohio. Jesus said, let me move on because I, 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 I won't get to it. That I am the door. Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 10 I am the door if anyone enters by me he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture 
The text verse, the thief does not come except but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they might have life and they may have it more abundantly. All the church said amen. amen. The next three Sundays, I'll be home now, thank God, for a few Sundays. I don't have to travel unless it's an emergency for way up in the summer. I want to use a three-part series, and I want to start with this. Would you believe me? The Lord just gave me this three-part series to start with. Preachers, you know what I'm talking about, how God can change your direction, change your course of thinking. I want to deal with today the thief. The thief. Next Sunday, I want to deal with. He comes to kill. Third one, he's out to destroy you. Y'all want to let me preach in those three parts? First, first, kill. Kill. He's on the kill, Elvis. He's on the kill. Not so much killing physically. And people are dying. They're leaving here. They leaked funeral home at 16 funerals alone yesterday. That's a lot of funerals in one place. So they are dying. People are leaving here. But there is a part of us that's spiritual for the most part. Brother Marcus, Brother Allen, if the enemy could kill that spirit, he would be satisfied. Because some of y'all, we just like, we, cuss, we kissing cousins, you know. Uh, uh, the enemy know even if he kill our body. There's the spirit of God that's in us. He ain't going to never bother. I feel like preaching even though I am tired today. Uh, the elder, my friend back there, he, 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 he knows if he can get to our spirit. That's why as Christians, as saints of God, we ought to guard our spirit. Don't get so upset that you feel like leaving the church. Quit preaching. Quit serving. Very capacity. Get tired. All of us get discouraged sometimes. God knows I do. You just don't know it. I, I've been so discouraged the Lord had to whip me. I guess he don't whip none of y'all. but He's he chasing me because he loved me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've been so discouraged in my 53 years of trying to walk with God, I almost said I wasn't coming back. I almost, by the way, gave up. But more when I wanted to give up, he wouldn't give me up. That's what you ought to be glad about. That every time you try to give him up, he pulls you close. And he won't let you go. The person who says there's another door, the Bible says, is a thief. Thief. The thief is always out to devour what you have. And if you allow him, he will steal. You'll know it. He will steal your tongue speaking. And you ought to search yourself. You ought to, you ought to search yourself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me, let me deviate from my notes here. You ought to search yourself if, if, you, if you haven't spoken in tongues in a long time. Yeah, Bishop, you think I have to speak in tongues every day to show that I'm deep or I'm saved? No. But there is a heavenly language that goes along with joy and the overflow that you get so happy you can't even say hallelujah. You go off into other tongues as the spirit of God give up. You ought to try it. You might like it. There is a such thing that the enemy today is robbing and stealing. Listen to me, listen to me now, listen to me, listen to me. Don't let nobody talk to you. Change your seat they message you now because I'm finna help you. Because it is a time of depression. 
A lot of folk. I think I mentioned this the other Sunday. Listen to me. Well, I'm serious. I don't want you to sit there and let somebody talk to you when I'm talking to you. Listen to me. Because I don't want to deal with you when you're depressed. I can't handle you. But this is a time when a lot of folk are smiling. We got on our makeup. But on the inside, half of this crowd is hurting. They just ain't talking to you. Oh, yeah, I got the most bishop at home today, y'all. We heard things that happened to us. To rock our boats, rock our lives. Things that happened to us that we know, really, that if it had not been for the Lord, the Lord who was, who, was, who was on our side. When you see people walk in the street, we call them, used to call them shell shop. And, and, and for a long time, we thought that shell shock people were people that had been in the war. But we found out all the wars wasn't in Iraq. I wish y'all helped me there. Some wars are in your house. Some wars left you in your schoolroom. Some wars are on your job. Last but not least, some wars are in the church. Can I preach in here? The enemy try everything he can to unnerve your spirit. Because if he can get your spirit corrupt or get your spirit quieted down, if he can sit you in, cause you not to open your big mouth and say every once in a while, hallelujah, which we say the highest praise. If he stopped you from telling God, thank you, all that God has done to you and is doing for you right now, he'll have you sitting on the red pile of life. You used to be in the choir, you used to be up front, you used to be on the altar, but now you're almost at the back door. Come on in here, somebody. He's a thief. Pardon me, he's a thief. I'm glad when I was coming up and got saved that they taught us to praise God. They taught us. Somebody know what I'm talking about here. So the group when they taught us, they say hallelujah. Open your mouth, boy. Tell God, thank you. Oh, my, my. You can't talk about that too much. I get happy now. Open your mouth. Say glory. Open your mouth. Say something. Hallelujah. You'll feel better when you start saying hallelujah. Ah, my, 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 my. There's something about saying hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You start thanking him, brother boy, from where it brought you from. You can't hold your hand and fold your arms and look at somebody cross eyes when you start thinking about where God has brought you from. You say, oh God, I just got to thank you. Brother, please excuse me, but I just thought about something the Lord did for me yesterday. And I got to get up and give him praise right now. I know ain't no music going. I know ain't no drum beat, but something down on the inside is telling me thank you. One of the great sins of the church is that we have lost our praise in him. We've lost our thanking him. You could hear people coming in the door off the parkway. We didn't have parking lots. We just had the parkway we could. Saying, thank you, Jesus. Am I right, somebody? You can hear people getting out the cars. And I can't wait to get into it. Lord, have mercy. Can't wait. They've been in, at work all week. Somebody cussing and swearing. I can't help but to hear somebody say, Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Now, the thief done got in here so do you walk by folk right in the same hallway and they won't even say hi. I ain't talking about y'all. I'm talking about all the folk missing today. Won't even say hello. Y'all don't mind if I talk like I feel, do you? You don't have to have the Holy Ghost to have good sense and be manable and be nice. It's just nice to be nice. I'm going to preach like a few anyway. It's just nice when somebody sit down beside you. How you doing, ma'am? How you doing, sir? Glad to have you. Thank God for you. Bless you. Can I preach? Somebody over here, please preach. The thief is robbing the church of the great benefits of blessing God. That's why King David said, I will bless the Lord sometime when I feel like it. 
when I'm dressed up and sharp, when I'm ragged as I can be, I'm going to bless him at all times. And his praise shall continuously be in my mouth. Look at somebody tell him, I got to praise, I got to praise, I got to praise, I got to praise. I got to praise, I got to praise, I got to praise. I got to praise, I got to praise. If you ain't too cute, if you ain't too proud, just, just whisper over and tell them something you got to praise for right now. And, 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 and don't use the old one here because you can't think about that. When I think of the good of the Jesus. No, go further than that. Last week I didn't have my rent money, but God stepped in. Yesterday I got a pink slip, God stepped in. Well, just whisper to somebody, don't get too loud, you know, that's some folks don't want us to be so loud, you know. But just whisper to somebody and say, you know, a few, weeks, two months ago, I didn't have no car. But I got a car now, I got a real baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two, two, two weeks ago, while folks were getting fired, I got a $5,000 raise. Just, just whisper to somebody, don't, 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 don't get loud, they don't want you to get too loud, they're cool, you know, they, 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 they're cool, they, they should have went to the church down the street. Just whisper to somebody, you know, I had some folks my age die with cancer, they didn't live to get my age, but God didn't let me die. Don't, don't loud, don't get loud, just, just whisper to them and tell them, you know, like, uh, I had some folks have heart attacks and they died, they, they gone on, but God left me here, I had folks, God left me, I had, had some, I had some car wrecks all around me, but, but God didn't let me get killed and let me walk out. Hey, I'm going to have me some lifetime. And this is what the enemy wants. He wants your life. Life is one of the great words of the scripture. The word life means so in the Greek and the, and the verb to live or to have life, which is in, means to have a depth of meaning. I'm not just existing, if you will. I'm living. Some folk say, Sister Bond, well, you know, I'm just barely making it. Stop that today. Let me get ready to preach here, because I've really preached all my time getting away. Uh, tell somebody, stop that food today. Don't, don't, don't go out of here. I don't care if you're on the welfare. I don't care if you're on the food stamp. They ain't got no more food stamps, have they? I don't care what, what kind of program you got. I don't care how I look. Tell somebody next to you, after this, I shall not fret no more. Because, because, because life is energy. It's the force, the power of being who you are. And you got to watch the thief. Because a thief don't come when you're looking. Oh, huh? wait, well, is that right? The thief, the thief, I'm sitting there at home with my stuff. My Acts 238, my 357. What other things that the way you keep by your bed, you know, I'm sitting there laying in that. My, my mother, one of my mothers in San Antonio Church, the Congress Assembly now, she said, she's a real old, about 80 years old, she said, Bishop, forgive me, but I got my hatchet under my pillow. They take the wrong fellow, the wrong person come through here. So I got my hatchet in the name of Jesus. I get him. No, 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 the thief, thief is not coming. Why are you telling Tita? I talked about it on radio a little. See, see, the thief ain't coming to you while you're on guard. Most of the time, we don't have accidents driving when we're paying attention. The greatest accidents come when we are not paying attention and when something has happened to divert our attention from what's happening. And this is the way the enemy is. The enemy never bothers you much when you just come out of a consecration. But go a few weeks, we get ready for Holy Week, our time of sacrifice, what have you. The enemy slips in and causes you to lose something. I told the saints in, in Houston, Texas the other day, Mother Wakefield, that everything the enemy had tried to take from you is the year of the Lord's release. Yeah, yeah, it's not always money, it's not always God. See, because some of us, like me, we done learned to be happy broke. Man, listen, I ain't worried about you. I don't have to have no money to shout. I can be broke as Job's treasure and just. (laughs) 
Some people they ain't gonna do that till they till they ship come in. When they ship come in, you know they there's a child that done got something. They ain't shouted all year. They ain't ran all week. They ain't spoke in tongues. They must have done something else. Don't wait till that time, honey. My dance is by faith that he that shall come, he will come. And I'm not gonna stop praising him. Either way, you got to learn the joy, the, the, the abundance, what I'm trying to say, the abundance of things does not consist. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In what you have. Thank you, preacher. Thank you. The abundance of things does not consist. In what you have. God bless you, God, daughter, officer, Reeves. Bless you, sweetheart. Don't consist in what you have. I've been where I didn't have. I've been where I had a few and lost it. So people don't believe that. They see you now doing pretty good, Doc. But they don't remember when you ate peanut butter for dinner. Not you, the other folk. Your family been rich on that. But some of us, uh, I talk about my sister and all of us, where we come from. Peanut butter for breakfast. Jelly and peanut butter for lunch. Peanut butter and sugar for lunch. That's why I love it today. You give me a jar right now. We, we, we praise the Lord then. We praise the Lord. We, we, didn't, we didn't wait till we were able to get some, some fried salami. So y'all ain't got so rich now, but you know, uh, fried salami, you know, you fry it on both sides. Put a little mayonnaise if you got it. You put it on there and cut the sandwich for you and mama, you and the child. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. Y'all rich folk. You know, it ain't always been where we are now. We always been able to open the refrigerator and say, now what I'm going to cook today? What I'm going to eat today? Honey, God's been good to us. I made up my mind. I ain't gonna let the devil steal the thief steal the spiritual anointing that God has given to me. Come what may from day to day, I still will bless him. Still will bless him. Because I'm out of I'm still gonna bless him. The thief comes to steal. Because he knows that life is eternal. Life is forever. And, and I'm here to tell you, I got to get through, I ain't halfway through this thing. But, 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 but I'm here to tell you that God, the devil knows that if you ever get up out of your dilemma, you ain't never going back down no more. If, if you, see the enemy know that you ever get delivered, you ain't going back down that way no more. That's why it is the job of Satan to hold you down and, and keep you struggling and keep you begging so that he got to keep your anointing small. But you got to shake it off and make the devil take it back. And say, no, Satan, I've learned that whatever state I'm in, to that will to be content because I've learned I can do all things through Christ who's strengthening me. Somebody ought to praise him again. Life comes to a man by believing that Jesus is the door. A lot of folks, skeptics, that sit around churches, they don't really believe. But I'm glad I'm surrounded this morning by people that believe that Jesus can and will give you life. And I don't mean give you a bag of money and, and, and all your, your material things, but when you don't have the finance that you need, God can make you happy all by yourself. You don't have to lower your morals. I heard you preacher this morning. You don't have to lower your standards. God said, I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. Don't have to have no husband, no wife, no boyfriend, no girlfriend. The Lord can give you life and let that life overflow in you till all your associates will wonder how in the world you're making it with where you are. You tell them the Lord is my keeper. <laughs> Hallelujah. Tell somebody, Lord is my keeper. Uh-huh. The Lord is my keeper. That's why when I see the deacons, people, and the enemy trying to cycle our saints, I try to talk to them sometimes one by one because as the shepherd I see what the enemy is trying to do to you. And I'm here to tell you today, I don't care how mad you get. If you never come back to this church again, 
you leave him knowing that the pastor told me that this day was coming to me. But I got news from heaven today. The Lord want everybody here to start living. Yes, he want everybody here to make up your mind. I shall not die, but I shall live. Shake your seconds. I know I'm going to live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The devil been trying to cut you off for a long time. He's been coming after me ever since I was born. But I told him like Brother Joe naked I came here. I wish I had a witness out here. And naked I shall return. The Lord give it and the Lord take it away. Bless be the name of the Lord. If I never get to where I'm trying to go, as long as I'm trying, I got a feeling everything will be all right. The thing about a lot of saints today is you stop trying. When the Lord is almost ready to bless you, when the Lord is almost ready to put you up on the next level, you allow the devil to siphon your strength and, and siphon your anointing and, and you find yourself trying to get out of a rut. But you ought to tell the devil like the saints said long ago, the Lord saved me. Why should I be bad? Reach over and tell somebody, I know the Lord. The Lord saved me. Why should I be bad? Y'all don't remember the preacher that I'm a preacher to have. The Lord delivered me one day. Why should I be bad? I remember when the enemy said, you will never make it to the next dimension. I remember when I had some friends around me that said, well, you ain't going to make it, man. But I knew what I knew what I knew. You can't let folks talk to you in your ear and tell you what you can be and what you ain't going to be. Tell them, get out of my ear. Because God is still my refuge. And God is he's still my strength. And God is he's still a very present help in the time of trouble I'm almost too giving it to the moment we go and tell somebody neighbor we're in the midst of a crisis yes I need somebody really preach to him now tell a neighbor we're in the midst of a crisis we're in the midst of an economic situation you get that up and neighbor and say, but neighbor, be encouraged to go just a little further because I see you coming out of it. Oh, I see you making it to the next dimension. God is getting ready to release some new revelation to you. God is getting ready to step in your situation. God is getting ready to release some more anointing into your spirit. I heard him say, when the enemy comes in like a flow, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. And I made up my mind, I'm going to live. Woo! Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Tell somebody, neighbor, I'm getting ready to live now. I know y'all tired of shaking hands and telling your neighbor. Some of y'all wouldn't have spoken if I had to tell you that. Reach over in and find somebody and say, neighbor, oh, neighbor, I'm getting ready to show enough live. I see some debt transformations. Yeah. See some death cancellation. Some of y'all this week, the Lord done made a way out of nowhere. Anybody I'm talking to, run up here and tell me right quick. The Lord has worked a miracle in my situation. Anybody I'm talking to, run to me and give me a high five right quick. Tell them, Bishop, you weren't here. But the Lord took care of my business. Run up here and tell me if I'm preaching right. When I looked like I was going to get fired, the Lord gave me a promotion. I ain't got nobody know what I'm talking about. When it looked like I was going to lose my home, the bank gave me a new loan. And let's get this rate. 
Tell me about it, somebody. When it looked like my social security was going to be cut off, the Lord sent help from the sanctuary. When it looked like all hope was gone, the Lord stepped in. When my pain was bad, the Lord said, because you got life, I zero in the pedicure. I stretch your name out the computer. We know about it. Somebody, tell somebody, y'all too slow now. I gotta go. Tell somebody, neighbor, if you just knew how down I've been in the last few weeks, you wouldn't believe I'm standing here today. Maybe I'm preaching to myself today. Hey, if you only knew, Deacon, I had in my heart been because I see what the devil's trying to do. He's trying to steal the saints because he know that he know that he know he don't have but a short time to do what he's gonna do. So he's trying to steal the young people. He's trying to steal the middle-aged people. He's trying to steal the senior citizens. And I came home to tell you, make the devil out of life. Tell the world, I decided to follow Jesus. Tell the world. For my tell the world I'm laying aside every weight and every sin that stuff so easily beset me and I'm running for my life. Let me tell you something, I'm through for the day. Tell somebody you got to make up your mind that ain't nothing out there in the world for you. Preach like it's coming. Can I preach like it's coming? You gotta make up your mind. All these homosexual spirits that's trying to pull you out and give you a new thrill and a new experience. You tell the devil, I left that stuff outside. I come over here in Zion to stay, Lord, till I die. Till I die. Till I die. All you women, keep your head on straight. Don't pick up that lesbian spirit. Leave that mess outside. I'm not saying you're indulging, but there's a spirit creeping through the air. There's a spirit creeping in our churches. Well, women ain't got no feeling for women, men. But they're changing their minds. And they're changing their affection toward a woman, toward a woman. And men the same way. They're leaving the natural affection burning in their lust for another man. But lose that mess. Tell the devil I've come too far. Things I used to do, I don't want to do them no more. If you made a mistake last week, get up now, run to this altar. I pray anybody to talk about you. Tell God, give me one more chance. Tell God, I run too long. Tell God, I cried too long. Tell God, don't let the thief get me. Tell God. Gotta be holy. If God is trying to get you back out there, tell God, precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I'm tired, I'm weary, I'm old. But brother, hold, be free in the name of Jesus. Yeah, some of you anointed devils ought to be praying for it. You ought to touch him. You ought not let him back down at all. Some of you anointed brothers ought to run and get him. You people are too slow in here. You ought to be running and get him. And say, we ain't going to let the devil destroy what God put in you. Somebody else ought to run with his altar. And say, Bishop, you're preaching to me this morning. I'm telling you to tell the devil, no longer are you going to use me. No longer are you going to mess up my 
life mess up my body for Jesus' sake. I come that you might have life. I come to let you live. I come to give you joy. I come to give you peace. Say yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can't be slow for the people. Oh, you can't be slow. When you see these people coming and begging God to help you, you ought to run out of your seat. Double team the devil. All y'all want papers and won't do nothing with it. You ought to run out of the aisle and say, Loose this man. Loose this woman. Loose this child. Loose this man. Loose this woman. Loose this child. Loose this man. Loose this woman. Loose this child. Loose this man. Loose this woman. Loose this child. Loose this man. Loose this woman. Loose this child. Loose this man. Loose this woman. Loose this child. Loose this man. Loose this woman. Loose this child. Loose this man. Loose this woman. Loose this child. Loose this man. Loose this woman. Loose this child. Loose this man. Loose this woman. Loose this child. Loose this to run down his eye and say, I feel the devil trying to pull me, Bishop, but I am delivered today. I'm getting set free today. Satan had me down, but Jesus is going to lift me right now. I dare somebody else to run down his eye and say, I got a bad spirit coming over me. I got a bad spirit creeping in my spirit. I want somebody to help me run out of the back and run down these aisles now because help is in the church for you. I don't care if you're in the choir stand. I don't care where you are. I don't care what you've done. This is your day. God delivers. I feel my help in the room. All right, we're going to get out here. This is my day for victory. I done tried everything. Everything is paid, but now I'm going to try Jesus, for Jesus can be the best thing that ever happened to me. Jesus can pick you up, turn your life around. Jesus can give you joy inside of Jesus can give you hope for tomorrow. Come on and praise him, somebody. No 
everybody talking to me. They ought to hear y'all down in 119 feet. What can wash away my sin? What can make me whole again?
somebody. I get me somebody. Because I need somebody got some fire. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Just a little while longer. Because your help is all the way. Some through the water. Some through the fire. Some through the flow. But I know help is on the way. The race is not given. I got to help y'all. You better help me. I said the race is not given to the swift of the battle to the strong. But to him that can hold on. But I ain't got no crazy for you. Hold on. Uh-huh. Here comes some more bear, brothers. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody to hold on. Do y'all really believe what I'm preaching today? Tell somebody to hold on. Just a little while alone. I feel like preaching. When I feel my help in the room? Anybody feel your help in the room? You ought to take your right hand of authority and lay it on somebody's shoulder beside you and tell them, come out of that rut now. Tell somebody. Tell somebody. I heard the Holy Ghost say, you got too many folks done got in a rut. Don't tell Mr. Warren how we act here. I hear the Holy Ghost say, we got too many folks that then let the enemy put them in a rut. Can I ask y'all a question without y'all getting mad at me? Tell me, how did you feel when you first got the Holy Ghost? I remember when I felt so happy, I got a